Okay, so hi freak is always hi YouTubers. <laughs> Technical difficulties, YouTubers and everyone of that nature, and Facebookers and whatever. So y'all already know why I'm basically on here. And um, let me see if I'm recording. I'm recording the Blackberry because I have yet to hook up my hook up my webcam to my laptop. And um, all right, so let me get my cigarette because this is gonna be a uh one of those type of videos well the vmas came on today and um it was cool it was pretty cool usually no offense i just be thinking like you know it's typically not the BET awards it's definitely not the BET awards but they usually just focus mainly on the rock stars pop artists and you know genre like that but this year it was really giving it up with the with the rap and the hip hop and R and B artists and not R and B of course they don't have rhythm and blues but it was pretty cool though it was dope okay the pre show was cool it came on right after Jersey Shore if y'all ain't see that episode of Jersey Shore man listen um that was pretty crazy uh situation we thought he got knocked out by Ronnie but that was dead dot com because I mean Mike gave it up. He showed that he was not scared. Oh, this is not this is not that type of video. I was about to go in on the Jersey Shore. Um, what else happened? Okay, to the pre-show. Pre-show was kind of like a non-motherfucking factor. Uh, it wasn't that dope like it usually is. Um, the the black carpet was okay. Selena Gomez, she looked nice. Um, I didn't re retweet that picture because. And at the end of the day, y'all MTV y'all jib the viewers and the people that might have been hyphy to be on TV or whatever by saying if you retweeted 400, the first 400 tweeters get to come on a pair on TV basically gonna put up your Abby or whatever and your Twitter name definitely didn't it was like a, the size of the laptop screen with the photos um okay let's get to the main stuff the opening was Gaga y'all know I love Gaga but at first I was like, oh shit, that is dope and it's different. She thought about it, she thought about it. But, and the performance was cool, like she was dancing, doing her thing. It was something different, she dressed as a man and everybody was waiting on her outfit but she tricked everybody and came out as a, I forgot the name that she said. Um, let's see. I'm looking on my thing, on my timeline on, on Twitter. Cause that's what I put on um, basically on my notes. I'm gonna just go up the top of the dome as usual. Um, Gaga, she killed it. You know, she definitely killed it. I wish she would have did Born This Way or Judas. I really wish she would have did Judas though, and then she would have been busting out Judas, Judas. But she ain't do it. So it's cool, but she still did the other song I like. Um, I'm gonna talk about the performances that stood out to me. The Amy Winehouse tribute that was beautiful. I mean, it made me feel bad. You know, after she died, rest in peace and all that. It was a tribute. Yo, speaking of tributes, how are they going to have a, uh, the tribute for Britney, right? Britney Spears got a special Vanguard award, like the, you know, the top artists usually get. They only gave it to her just to get her back out there. You know what I mean? Because she is, she just, she's making her comeback or whatever with her tour and shit. And I heard the lap dances is whack, as well as Nikki lap dance. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Still recording. Um... It was it was cute. They had the kids doing the oops I did it again outfits, the uh, hit me baby one more time, um, slave for you, um, circus. Uh, I like Britney. I like the old Britney. I ain't gonna lie. I had I was a fan. I was a fan of Backstreet Boys on that era and and sync and um, what was the song Backstreet Boys? You are my fire, the one desire. Don't even front like y'all was not bumping to that song. That was my joint. Um, what else happened on the VMAs? I guess I should. Nicki Minaj. She did the Harajuku Barbie look. Shouts to Super uh, Super Barb Alika. You know she loves Nicki. I like Nicki. She from Southside Jamaica Queens. I'm from Jamaica Queens, not Southside that is, but I bang with Southside people. But um. Um, when she came out, I was just like, 
you 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 want to run that by me one more again because I didn't get it like she was doing too much she tried too hard it just looked like she she put on anything mixed up her wardrobe I didn't get it makeup was fair so I might do a makeup look on that but the outfit I didn't get it um Tyler the creator on the I don't I don't get you I don't understand you never heard your music hopefully I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and listen to one song and be like oh shit this is my shit first of all um who 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 let his his mama come to the show and she looked like she probably had a 40 ounce underneath the seat with that prom dress on that wedding dress on not a wedding gown but a dress that you know if you're invited to a wedding somebody's mother would typically put that on um and when he won the award for uh, new artist thank you jesus hallelujah but then the nigga go on stage and he cursing all wild crazy in front of your mother. What kind of respect is that? I don't understand that. And then you had your whole entourage come on stage. And they look like they just came off the corner. Like, not talking about as far as clothing-wise. But, you know, you could take people out the hood, but you can't take the hood out of them. That was too much. It was kind of, I didn't really feel you. I didn't get you. I, I didn't get it. I don't. <sighs> she looked like she was kind of wavy, though, the mother. But, um, who else? Um... Shouts to Beyonce and Jay-Z. She's finally pregnant. I knew it. I knew it. I kept telling my mother, like, Mom, look, she's pregnant. Look, look, look. With that sequence jacket on. When you know Beyonce to wear some pants during a performance. Pants. Say what now, huh? Khalil voice. Say what now? No, she don't wear no pants. But it was so cute how she dropped the mic after her performance of that song that I don't know. Because I didn't really purchase the album. Because I didn't, you know, team. No, no, no. Okay, let me get back to Beyonce. So Beyonce's singing, and she's going by Jay, and she's tearing it up, and she's not doing too much because she's pregnant, dropping it like it's hot, picking it back up, throwing it out there, and then at the end of the performance, she drops that mic, opens up that coat, rubs her tummy. I said, oh, how cute. It's about time, though. Um, you could tell the world is really coming to an end as far as with the hurricane in New York City last night. And basically today, and the earthquake Thursday, and Beyonce's pregnant, the world got to be coming to end, because I would have never imagined her being pregnant. Um, but congrats to her and Jay-Z, you know, I'm not a hater. Maybe I'll be having some kids, maybe in about 2015, 2016, I don't know. I'd rather be someone's wife before a baby mother, that's just me, I'm sorry. That's just my persona, my, pers my own personal thing. Now, um... The person who I would like to be my baby father, uh, only person I would accept being my baby father, Meek Mill or, you know, Chris Brown, because, you know, I'm team Meek Mill and I'm team Breezy. And, you know, and I'm a little monster far as with Gaga via Twitter, at Murder Sneeny, by the way. Um, Chris Brown, you killed the motherfucking stage. You, you are something, <laughs> you are something else, <laughs> you are something else, goddammit, because you really killed that stage, you came out there, you, you, you started saying, yeah, 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 times three, three times, whatever, not really a fan of that song, um, even though I'm Team Breezy, but then, you went into Wu-Tang, oh, I said, oh, shit, made me want to bust out the Carl Kanai suit with a pair of high top constructs with the leather on the top, because, you know, I was fancy back then, I had the leather on the top, I ain't had the regular constructs, you feel me, if you had the regular constructs without the leather, mm, you alright, but if you had, that's like the ones that, uh, what's the name, Shorty from Sunset Park had on, I didn't have those ones. If you're an eighties baby, then you know what I'm talking about. Far as with Sunset Park, what time is it? It's time to get loud. It's time to represent. What well, Federal Star he played in that in Terrence Howard and Rhea Perlman. All that you Google it basically, Sunset Park. But if you had the constructs, man, with that black on the top, that black leather, can tell you nothing. Speaking of um yeah, so Breezy, he killed it, and he was on strings, and he was dancing, busting it out. I reckon I'm saying, why is he lip-singing? Let me check and see if I'm still recording. What am I, 935? He lip-synced because he got it like that, because he's swaggerific. At the end of the day, you're still entertained. Janet, she lip-syncs. Britney, she lip-syncs, and don't nobody say shit about her. I mean, Britney don't really be doing much, but not now, but 
back then, Britney was singing and she was lip singing. Um, oh, Jessie J, she was, you know, basically like on the side singing during the commercial breaks. I loved it. I love Jessie J. I'm a big fan. Adele, she performed also. Um, it was cool. You know, I like Adele. She has a strong, powerful voice. And I put on Twitter, um, no offense. I don't, now I ain't even want to say it because I might offend some, some, some people. I don't even want to say a freaky voice, but if you follow me on Twitter, then you'll see what I said. Um, no, okay, I'm going to say it because I'm Murder, Murder, She Wrote. You know how I roll, aka Murder Rossini. Like, it's a lot of Caucasian people that are bust, bursting out with these powerful, soulful voices like they've been in church every Sunday in a choir singing, watching gospel Sundays on BET or something, because these, these white, these Caucasian people, first of all, they're getting butts now, I don't understand that, but, and they, 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 they singing, like, powerful, like, soulful, uh, you know what I'm saying, it was cool, Adele, she was cool, I mean, I'm gonna download some of her stuff tonight and see if I, if, if I feel her, um, Lil Wayne performed. He did How to Love, and then he went into um, I'm Not a Star, a rock star type thing. Everybody was saying, oh, his mic is auto -tune. He was auto-tuning as far as How to Love. That's cool. He's not a singer. He's a performer. He performed and he entertained us, although he is lyrically crazy. And everybody, yo, it seemed like he was subbing, you know, like he threw that sub at, at Jay and Kanye, because Kanye and Jay, they performed um, oldest right after Gaga. Um... And it was cool. Like, Ola saying it really my joint. I wish they would have did Niggas in Paris. That's my joint. Um, it was cool. It was, they performed to school. And Nicki Minaj, she kind of subbed Jay-Z, too, when she got her award. And she was like, shouts to Lil Wayne, Dwayne Carter. Um, he's the greatest rapper alive. And then she walked off. Like, everybody was subbing each other as far as Young Money and uh, Rock Nation. But Kanye, I'm glad that Kanye came out there and he was like, shouts to Breezy, shouts to, you know, Busta and Wheezy, as far as with that Look At Me Now joint, because him and Katy Perry won for Extraterrestrial, which I love that song also, and I love Katy Perry. She looked marvelous, marvelous. And she be hanging out with black people too, low-key, it seemed like. She kind of got a little uh, hood in her. Um, who else performed? I'm trying to think, trying to think. Let me look at my timeline. Um... Yo, the performance with Pitbull, um, Khloe Kardashian, I'm sorry, I don't know that girl's name, but the Khloe Kardashian lookalike, and Neo, it was cool, <coughs> excuse me, really was a non-factor, because I ain't a Pitbull fan, um, let's see, who else, who else was cool, Kim Kardashian, I did not like that dress on her, she was a presenter, and she came out with a dress that looks like someone's mom's dress. And her shape is kind of looking like Dina from Jersey Shore. You know what I mean? I don't know. You're so beautiful. Still like you, Kim Kardashian. But you should have wore a different dress. I guess she's trying to look 30 or look like a married woman. But maybe you should take tips from Chloe Because I didn't like that dress at all. Um, who else? I didn't understand how Britney got that award. And then they made it seem as if like she was speaking up Beyonce during her speech, I didn't understand, I knew Beyonce was coming out to perform, her and Gaga was like sucking Beyonce all while crazy, like Beyonce was the one getting an award, I didn't understand that, I didn't understand that all either, but um, Beyonce does deliver though, she does, she definitely does, she did kill it though, I ain't gonna lie, um, Drake didn't perform, Drake should have, you know, left that sweater in uh, Mr. Rogers' closet, I did not like that, not at all. Um, I don't know. It just seemed like the show was cool. I wish Kevin Hart would have had more parts. And they didn't really get his jokes in the beginning. But I got them jokes. Kevin Hart. Coolest dude alive. Word to my mother. Like, I love Kevin Hart. Funny as hell. Um, they really should have let him host, though. And Wiz and, uh, Wiz and Amber was on the red carpet. And it seems so promo, like, publicity. I'm sorry. I still believe that. But... I mean, the award show was okay. It was pretty cool. I like the, you know, Bruno Mars performance. I don't really get him, but he was cool. Um, and I guess that's just basically my review on these awards. And um, I'm going to have, let's see if I'm still recording. 
comment, subscribe, and rate, and follow me on Twitter at MurderousNeeNee. And, um, that's about it. And comment, subscribe, and rate. I love you guys, Freakazoids. Goodbye.